Venus flytrap. Like the sundew, it makes itself very attractive, oozing nectar across the brim of each leaf. But any visiting insect had better watch out for these six tiny hairs. This fly has to tread carefully. If it strikes one hair, it can carry on feeding, but a timer has been set. A second strike in less than 20 seconds and the fly is doomed. An electrical impulse is triggered and the leaf snaps shut in just a fraction of a second. The tips lock together like prison bars. If the fly is very big or very small, it may just manage to escape. But most are trapped and die. Ten days later, the trap reopens. All that remains is a husk. The plant has finished its meal and resets itself for its next victim. But there is one time of year when the Venus flytrap needs some of the visiting insects to live. It needs their help to be pollinated. It sends up flowers on tall stems, well away from the danger of the traps below. Here, insects can feed safely on nectar. In return, they provide a vital service, carrying pollen from flower to flower. But the truce is only temporary. When pollination is over, it's back to business as usual. 